Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become a certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In this lecture, we're going to show what is the difference between driving and driven dimensions. So here we have a front view on the left side and on the right side. On the left side, we have here dimensions in the black, and on the right side, we have dimensions in the gray color. On the left side, those dimensions are called driving dimensions, and those one on the right side, we call driven dimensions. Now, what is the difference really between those two types of dimensions? For example, if we go here, to the diameter of 50 millimeters and we double click here and we change this diameter to 50 millimeters nothing happens but if we go here to rebuild let's click rebuild now we can see that those changes are applied to our model dimensions and this is driving dimension if we go to driven dimension if we double click here you see that we can't change it we can go here to the left side to the properties and here we can override value for example, now we have 50, we can go to 60, for example. Let's click OK. And now here we have a 60. But if we go now here to rebuild, nothing happens. The model dimensions are not changed. So driving dimensions are dimensions that are affecting the dimension of the model. While driven dimensions don't affect model dimensions, they're only used as a reference or representation of the model dimensions. So again, if we go here, to driving dimension double click we go here to 55 for example let's click ok let's go with rebuild like this so here we have 55 as well here we have 55 but we can go here and we can check override value let's click ok and now we can see it's 55 hey my name is Alan take from watching this lecture please like and subscribe if you like the video if you want to become a SOLIDWORKS professional, if you want to earn a SOLIDWORKS official certificate, then you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certificate exam. This can help you to get a better job, to negotiate a better salary, and to accelerate your career. In order to earn SOLIDWORKS certificate, you have to pass the exams. I have a courses that can prepare you for the exams. I have enrolled over 30,000 students. The rating I have for a professional exam is 4.9. I have preparation for solid professional, finite element analysis, surface, sheet metal, and drawings. In courses, you will find all of the tools explained. You will find exercises, examples, and samples exam, the similar one you can find on the real exam. Right now, I have a special offer, and this is if you buy one course for $10, you will get a one course for free that you want. As well, if you refer any course to someone else, you can earn 50% per course. This way you can make passive income. So if you want to get SOLIDWORKS certifications and you want to prepare for those exams, click the link below, check my website and like and subscribe this video.